Hey everyone, um, what we're going to do today is basically a pattern, but um, it's going to be more about uh, using accent colors um, and how I go about doing that uh, and not overpowering the color of the jig. Uh, in the vise, we got a 3 16th ounce round head jig. It is weedless. I have it ready for um, an FG12 weed guard, which is a uh, 5 64ths of an inch in diameter. Um, the color is green pumpkin. The hook is a 2 watt Gamagatsu. Um, I call it Gamagatsu Special. Uh, I think it came from a manufacturer. I bought them on eBay. Really good hook, um, but I haven't found them uh, for sale by Gamagatsu or any of the regular places that uh, I go to, so I'm assuming uh, a manufacturer had them and uh, they ended up on eBay, so I got uh, those. Really good hook. Again, I wish you could buy them somewhere. I'd buy them, but uh, let's get started here. We're going to take some uh, olive two tendon air flat wax nylon thread. I'm just going to get a little base started here. It's going to be a finesse jig and it's not going to have a real heavy collar. So what we're going to do is we're going to take straight green pumpkin. In this case I'm using 36 strands, a tab and a half basically um, to start with. Well, 32 strands, I'm sorry. 32 strands and since we're going to have the spider skirt we're going to start it um, a little bit above the head with our uh, first uh, tab of silicone. Now the reason I wanted to do this is um, this is one of them things where a lot of guys use accent colors and, and um, they get a little carried away. It's a little heavy-handed. Uh, where with this type of jig, you want you can add another color and really make the, the jig change total appearance. But you're not adding a lot. It's just, it's very little. But um, the effect is pretty dramatic. You'll see what I mean once we get uh, all our uh, green pumpkin silicone tied in here. Now I'm going to take this out of the vise just to show you uh, pretty much what we got here. And that's basically a plain old green pumpkin jig. Nothing to it, nothing fancy. It's hard to see yet. Um, just straight one color. And the reason I'm doing it straight one color is because I'm going to add an accent color to this. So what I'm going to do now to make this a 40 strand skirt, I'm going to take four strands and I cut it in half for two, two on each side. This is green pumpkin candy. It's hard to see, but it's got uh, glitter. It's got a uh, purple and green glitter in it. Um, they call it candy glitter and it's a green pumpkin pattern. Um, Actually, it's a nature's edge color. It has that black print on it with the, the candy color. So it makes it pretty good. I'm just going to add two strands right on the top here. And I'm going to do the same thing. And your placement doesn't have to be perfect. Just make it opposite of what you have it. Boy, the silicone's really getting in my way today. And I just try to make it a 
just separate it a little bit so the strands aren't really close together. They're not on top of each other. That's the better way to say it. Now, I'm going to take a couple strands, four strands to be exact, of this color. This is Green Pumpkin Candy Red. It's that it has that glitter in it, and it has that Nature's Edge coloring. There is a glitter. Um, it has that Nature's Edge coloring. It's Green Pumpkin Candy, but it has those red stripes. The only place I've ever seen this material um, is Barlow's. It's underneath the striped uh, striped silicone layers. I believe the number is 236. They are the only people that have this specific color. So if, if uh, And they also have the green pumpkin and green pumpkin candy. So it's a one-stop shop if you want to replicate this. So now I'm going to take four strands of that material and it's going to go in between what I already put in of the green pumpkin candy. And the same thing on the other side. Kind of doesn't want to cooperate. There we go. And that's basically it. I'm going to tie it in here and get my collar nice and tight. All these strands hanging down. I got to get them out of my way. I don't want a real heavy collar, but I don't want any of that material is showing through either. It looks pretty good. And we're going to whip finish. Bear with me here. See, I shouldn't be in a hurry when I'm doing these things. Haste makes waste. Six. Cut it off. We're going to use some Loctite Super Glue brush on head cement. That's good. And then we're going to trim our tabs off here. And what I do for these is go just a little bit above the head. That seems to be about what I call the, the magic spot. Um, gives me a nice fall in the water, nice profile. It really breaks up the outline of that jig head shape. So. And this here, the back, you can make this as long as sh or short as you want it. Uh, I prefer it to be maybe about an inch, inch and a half at the most behind the hook. And there we have it. Now I'm going to show you this. What just four strands of a color, how it really shows up and really changes the look of it, this jig. Just playing green pumpkin, 
four strands of that green pumpkin candy and four strands of the green pumpkin candy red. Um, completely changes that. Takes it from just a regular green pumpkin jig, now it pops. That's going to be really good when you got sunny conditions and dirty water. Uh, that green pumpkin candy is going to give it a flash, but not too much. Uh, it's still going to stay relatively uh, a natural color. So when ne next time you're doing a jig and you want to add accent colors, think about just adding a, just a few strands. And uh, don't get real heavy-handed with it, and uh, you'll catch a lot of fish with it. Thanks for watching.